become a scientist. I collect spores, molds, and fungus. Why worry? Each of us is wearing an unlicensed nuclear accelerator on his back. Oh my God. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm a Ghostbuster, and I do science stuff. Oh. Hi there. Welcome to the newest episode. So today we're going to be doing a little experiment that's widely known as elephant's toothpaste. But because I'm a ghostbuster and because of the big guy's here, sorry, he's too tall to get in shot and uh, get in the same frame as me. But because he's here, I thought we'd rebrand it as Stay Puffed's toothpaste. So for today's experiment, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need some hydrogen peroxide. Uh, now this is 20 volt, 6%. Now the hydrogen peroxide that you buy in supermarkets and that you likely have at home is probably only 3%. You can do this experiment with 3% but the, uh, the chemical reaction will probably be less impressive than hopefully what happens here today. Um, you get 6% from uh, pharmacies. In Australia at least, uh, some pharmacies sell it as a restricted item so you're only allowed to buy one. Um, some pharmacies let you buy multiple but chances are you'll need an adult with you. Um, unless you are an adult doing this experiment, so then hey, go you. Um, but yeah, if you are a kid at home trying these ex experiments, you'll need mum and dad to buy this. And um, also get mum and dad to help with the experiment. Uh, the reason this is restricted is because if you get it on your skin, unlike 3%, uh, it can burn you. Um, so you've just got to be careful. So yeah, get mum and dad to help with the experiment, putting that in the bottle. You'll need a bottle of some kind. You'll need safety glasses, always good. Um, some dishwashing liquid, some warm water, and some dry yeast, and that is everything you need. Oh, and food coloring. Uh, food coloring is not essential, it just makes a color reaction. So, food coloring gets everywhere, by the way, which I found out. So, be careful with it. Alright, let's start. So, first, let's get the peroxide in there. Now, you need about half a cup which is uh, 318 ml, I believe. So these bottles are 300 ml each, so one whole bottle. And a little bit of a second. I'm not doing this exact, you can measure it out exact if you want. But I'm just gonna take a guess. Me. And dishwashing liquid. A couple of teaspoons worth of that. And then food coloring. Not too much, just enough to make the liquid the color you want. Alright, give that a mix up. Alright, next step you want to take teaspoon, no sorry, a tablespoon of dry yeast. Again, this doesn't have to be exact, you can vary the amount for different results. And then you mix the yeast with warm water. And so the most important thing here is the yeast. Um, the water just helps mix it and helps disperse it. So my uh, yeast and water mix is all done. Alright, so this is my first time trying this. I'm hoping it works. I've seen it done online um, and it's pretty impressive in the videos I've seen so I'm just hoping this works. The reaction is pretty quick so once I pour this in I'm going to pull the funnel and then I'm going to sort of get out of the way. Um, fingers crossed, here we go. Uh, Stay Puffs Toothpaste. <laughs> Come on, I thought it was going to explode. It's going out. Wow. Okay, it's gonna overflow. <laughs> so it works, it's just slower than I thought it would be. Oozy. Ah. Like, I mean, it's oozing, it's not like a ah, oozy. Ah. That's still going, that's cool. And it's very, very hot because we're having an ex exothermic reaction. I 
want it to, to like explode in the air though. Alright, so before I move on and try again, um, I'll just explain sort of what's happening here. So hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. Now, you all know that water is H2O, so hydrogen peroxide just has another oxygen atom added to it. Um, so the yeast acts as a catalyst, so when the yeast hits the peroxide, uh, it draws out all the oxygen very, very quickly. Because the dishwashing liquid's in there, it traps all that escaping oxygen into bubbles, which creates foam. Um, it also has an exothermic reaction, which makes it heat up, so it was, it was hot uh, as it did it. Uh, but it cools down really fast, and then you're just left with foam, foam and water. Um, so yes, I've got another bottle, at least I'm using a glass one. I don't have any scientific vials, apparently it works a lot better uh, if you've got a vial that tapers towards the top. Um, but I'm going to try this, I've mixed more peroxide, more dishwashing liquid, um, I've mixed more yeast, and we're going with uh, pink for mood slime this time. So it might be the same slow reaction, it might be more. But let's find out, eh? Nah, still pretty slow. That's pretty cool though, it's still... It's, it's, it's kind of impressive. Ooh, mood slime. Look at that. Wow. Mess. There we go. Um, so not as explosive as I was hoping. Again, if you if you try three percent hydrogen peroxide, you'll get even less than this. So yeah, get mum and dad to get six percent if you can, and uh, I will see you next episode. Bye. So for, for, uh, 